The Vale of Tempe is a gorge in the Tempe municipality of northern Thessaly, Greece, located between Olympus to the north and Ossa to the south. The valley is 10 kilometers long and as narrow as 25 meters in places, with cliffs nearly 500 meters high, and through it flows the Pineos River on its way to the Aegean Sea. In ancient times, it was celebrated by Greek poets as a favorite haunt of Apollo and the Muses. On the right bank of the Pineos sat a temple to Apollo, near which the laurels used to crown the victorious in the Pythian Games were gathered. The Tempe Pass is a strategic pass in Greece since it is the main route from Larissa through the mountains to the coast, though it can be bypassed via the Sarantoporo Pass, the alternate route takes longer. Because of this it has been the scene of numerous battles throughout history. In 480 BC, 10,000 Athenians and Spartans gathered at Tempe to stop Xerxes's invasion. However, once there, they were warned by Alexander I of Macedon that the Vale could be bypassed and that the army of Xerxes was overwhelmingly large. Accordingly, the Greeks retreated. Local history and legend The Vale of Tempe was home, for a time, to Aristaeus, son of Apollo and Cyrene, and it was here that he chased Eurydice, wife of Orpheus, who, in her flight, was bitten by a serpent and died. In the 13th century AD a church dedicated to Agia Pariscovi was erected in the valley. During the Third Macedonian War in 164 BC the Romans broke through Perseus of Macedon's defences here and later defeated him in the Battle of Pydna. During the Revolution of Andriscos in 148 BC the valley was the site of another conflict. There were other battles fought there during the barbarian raids that marked the end of the Roman era in Greece and in Byzantine and Ottoman times. Lomprier John Lomprier in his classical dictionary gives this description. Tempe, a valley in Thessaly, between Mount Olympus at the north, and Ossa at the south, through which the river Peneus flows into the Aegean. The poets have described it as the most delightful spot on the earth, with continual cooling shades, and verdant walks, which the warbling of birds rendered more pleasant and romantic, and which the gods often honoured with their presence. Tempe extended about five miles in length but varied in the dimensions of its breadth so as to be in some places scarce one acre and a half wide. All valleys that are pleasant, either for their situation or the mildness of their climate, are called Tempe by the poets. Recent history Tempe has become notorious for the poor condition of the road passing through it and for horrible accidents that have happened there. On October 4, 1999 a bus carried some PAOK fans who returned from a match in Athens crash with a truck, coming from the opposite direction. The result was seven deaths, six PAOK fans and the bus driver. The most severe happened in 2003. An entire 11th grade class of 21 students from the village of Makrochori perished when a truck carrying plywood, coming from the opposite direction, hit their bus on its side. Although the driver was able to reduce the truck's velocity in just a few seconds, sideways momentum was conserved by the plywood which detached from the vehicle and sliced into the left side of the coach instantly killing many of the passengers. On December 16, 2009, a small rock fall occurred. No damage or injury occurred. The road was subsequently closed, and during the inspection the next day a massive rock slide occurred, killing one person. The road remained closed until May 2010 while rocks were scaled off the cliff faces above the road, and rock fall protection fences were built. The U.S. city of Tempe, Arizona, and the Sydney suburb of Tempe are two locations named after it, as is a farm in the eastern Cape of South Africa, with nearby farms named Olympus and Ossa. Th Vale of Tempe Road tracing a small valley in Penang, Malaysia, and Tempe Terror on Mars are also named after it. In literature, Catullus refers to Tempe in Catullus 64 lines 285 to 286. Horace refers to Tempe in Odi 7. Virgil refers to Tempe in Georgics 4.317.
Ovid refers to Tempian metamorphoses I-568 ASEQ. In an Ekphrasis loci, Strabo refers to Tempi in his Geographica, Book 9. Edmund Spencer refers to Tempi in the Fairy Queen in Book 2, Canto 12, Stanza LII. Philip Sidney refers to Tempi in Astrophil and Stella in Sonnet 74. Percy Shelley refers to Tempi in Him of Pan. John Keats refers to Tempe in Odon Agrishanern. Ruskin refers to Tempe in his open letters concerning the railway. Thomas Hardy refers to Vale of Tempe in The Return of the Native P. 3. Herman Melville refers to Tempe in On the Slain Collegians. Francis Thompson refers to Tempe in Pastoral.